today's post, we're going to be talking about autoimmune processes. I was just reading an article that came out of the National Institute of Health, and they talked about how over 30 million people have some type of autoimmune process going on. They have positive ANA antibodies. So that's 10% of the population. Now, in my opinion, this is my opinion, I think when it comes to people that have chronic illnesses and degenerative illnesses, people that are in the sick population, I bet you that the number is more. And I can, I can definitely tell you that that number is growing. It is the next uh, big explosion of health problems is going to be autoimmune processes. But autoimmune processes in general, we're talking about things the most common in, the, in this country is being Hashimoto's, which is for thyroid, but you can have autoimmune disease against your cartilage, and that's rheumatoid arthritis. You could have autoimmune processes going against your myelin, which is MS. You could have autoimmune processes going against your intestinal tissue, which is celiac, as it, as it relates to gluten, uh, or to your small intestine, the terminal ileum, as it relates to Crohn's, or as as in your colon and colitis, ulcerative colitis. There's many, many different types of autoimmune diseases. Psoriasis can be related to autoimmune. Alzheimer's can be related to autoimmune. Other skin conditions can be related to autoimmune processes. So in general, autoimmune that you might be suffering with means that your body is attacking itself. Not a good thing. So when it comes to dealing with people that have autoimmune processes, we're not, we are not there. I am not there to treat that disease because there is really no cure but what you want to do is you want to start modulating and finding out what's happening in that immune system. Basically you have two sides to your immune system if you want to be that broad of an explanation. There's, there's the Th1 side and there's the Th2 side and the Th1 side is the side from the T cells these are the cells that help kill things, cytotoxic cells, natural killer cells. And on the Th2 side, we have the B cells, which are the cells that help make antibodies. So there are ways through uh, challenging the immune system with certain supplements to figure out which side of that immune system you're on. There's also ways of looking at blood markers, and these are called T and B lymphocyte subpanels. And what these things are looking for are, are the ratios between CD4 and CD8 cells. And it's a panel that can be done. And what it'll show is that you want this ratio to be between 1.2 and 2.0. If it's below 1.2, it typically means that the body is dysregulating. In other words, the immune system is malfunctioning in a way where there's dysregulation. There could be a vitamin deficiency. There could be a blood sugar dysregulation. There could be... Uh, dysregulations into other hormones. On the s above two side, <clears throat> usually means that the body is dysregulating because it's killing something. It's going after a food. It's going after a, a virus, a parasite, a bacteria. It's going after things to kill them. So as a result, if there's tips in the immune system, it could be what is triggering the autoimmune processes to continue. So although there is not any cure, what, what you want to be able to do is to modulate the immune system, modulate it so that you can try to find out what is triggering the body to do what it's doing. Find out if there's problems with blood sugar dysregulation. Find out if there are vitamin deficiencies. Find out if there are uh, certain things that the body is trying to kill. Or do you have old infections like parasitic infections? Do you have um, food sensitivities like gluten or dairy? All these things need to be looked at find out if you have anemia. These things are the things that can actually trigger the immune system to do what it's doing. So as opposed to trying to cure something which you're not going to be able to do, you can certainly take action today. Take action now to figure out which side of the, the seesaw that your immune system is on. And by doing that, you can help curb the damage that's going on and identify how the body is dysregulating and then support it with nutrition and lifestyle changes and other factors so that you can slow down the process of, of damage. So this is how we look at things. So when you're on your on your adventure or you're, uh, you're seeking out a doctor, you want to find a doctor to, to explain to you these things that will know what, we're taught, that what is going on here. You want to find a doctor that understands this whole concept that they can help you in trying to help your immune system do better and not keep on killing parts of your body, which is what the autoimmune process is. So I hope this helps, and I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'd like to have, uh, have you come back for other posts in the future. So make it a great day.